Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teachers Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel GCSE Maths Higher Tier paper from 2018, and this is paper three. And we're on question six. So this is a question about probability, and we're given a table of probabilities here, and it's about a bag containing some counters, which are either red, white, blue, or yellow. Um, it says that Bob is going to take a random counter from the bag and the table shows the probabilities that the counter will either be blue or yellow. Um, so we're told that there's 18 blue counters in the bag and the probability that Bob takes, um, that the counter Bob takes will be red is twice the probability that the counter will be white. So we've got to work out the number of red uh, counters in the bag. So first of all, it's necessary to complete this table. So we know that all possible outcomes, if we add them together, would add up to one. So if we add the blue and the yellow probabilities together, 0 0.5, 0 0.45 plus 0 0.25, we get 0 0.7. And if we subtract that from one, so if we do 1 minus 0 0.7, that gives us 0 0.3. Now that is the combined probability of either getting a red or a white. But we are told that the probability Bob takes a red is twice the probability that he takes a white. So we could say the ratio of red to white counters so red to white would be two to one. So what we can do is we can split this um, prob this probability 0 0.3 in the ratio two to one. So what we've got to do, split 0 0.3 in the ratio two to one. So what we do, we add them two together, two plus one together, two plus one, will give us three and we know then therefore that three parts is equal to 0 0.3 so one part we can get by dividing both sides by three and that will give us 0 0.1 because we know that red is um, the one that's rep represented by the two then two parts, which is the probability of getting red, is equal to two times 0 0.1, which is 0 0.2. So we can put that in our table, and we can also put in the probability of getting a white, and that's going to be 0 0.1. So this hasn't um, given us the probability, the number of red counters. It's just given us the probability of getting a red counter. So we know the probability of getting a red counter is 0.2. Okay, now we are told we can we can now get these into the form of numbers. We, we're told that there's 18 blue counters in the bag. And we know that the probability of getting a blue is equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.45 from the table. But we also know that that is equal to the number of blue counters. So number of blues divided by the total number of counters. So i.e. in 0.45 is equal to 18 divided by the total. Okay, so if we rearrange that, um, we can say, okay, let's multiply both sides by the total there. We'll get 0.45 times by I'm going to call it T for the total equals 18. And it will follow from that that 
if we divide now both sides by 0 0.45, that the total is equal to 18 over 0.45. So if we do that on the calculator, 18 divided by 0.45, we get 40. So we can see there's 40 counters in total. Now, we're asked to find the number of red counters, and we know the probability of getting a red is 0.2, which means 0.2 of the total, it will give us the number of red counters. So number of reds is equal to 0.2, probability of getting a red, times by 40, which is actually 8. So that's part A completed. Um, for part B, we're in a different situation. It says a marble is being taken at random from a box of marbles, and the probability that the marble will be silver is 0.5. So we've got to explain why it must be the case that there's an even number of marbles in the bag. Well, again, using the similar logic to before, we can say, well, the probability of getting a silver is equal to the number of silvers over the total. And since we're told that that's equal to 0 0.5, so we can say um, the number of silvers over the total is equal to 0 0.45, 0 0.5. And if we rearrange that, we would get that the silvers is equal to 0 0.5 times t. And if we divide both sides by 0 0.5, we actually get that T is equal to two times the number of silvers. Now that proves that it must be an even number because whatever number of silvers we have, if we multiply it by two, we will get an even number. So we could say T must be even and that's it we've done it i hope that's been of help to you if it has please